Serotonin is a monoamine neurotransmitter synthesized from the amino acid tryptophan. Serotonin levels in the body can be affected by a number of factors including diet and drugs. For example, diets rich in carbohydrates and low in proteins increase serotonin production through insulin. Likewise, foods that contain a much higher amount of tryptophan than competing amino acids, such as leucine and phenylalanine, promote the production of serotonin. Therefore, while papaya, banana and dates improve serotonin production, whole wheat and rye bread reduce it. In addition, some drugs directly trigger the release of serotonin. This includes tryptophan amino acid supplements as well as levodopa, codeine and recreational drugs such as cocaine. Causes of low serotonin levels Although the symptoms of low serotonin can be caused by other factors, the major cause is still low levels of serotonin in the brain. Besides low levels of serotonin, some of the other factors that may trigger these symptoms are shortage of receptor sites for serotonin to bind to, the inability of platelets to bind and transport serotonin to those receptors. Low serotonin levels can be caused by any of the following factors. Inadequate intake of L-tryptophan from dietary sources. L-tryptophan is the amino acid used in the production of serotonin. It is capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier. When foods rich in L-tryptophan are withdrawn from the diet, serotonin production drops, and when they are reintroduced, serotonin is increasingly synthesized. Foods rich in L-tryptophan include meat, poultry, nuts, and dairy products. Vitamin B6 Deficiency Vitamin B6, or pyridoxal 5-phosphate, is an essential coenzyme in the synthesis of serotonin from L-tryptophan. Therefore, it is also required for optimal production of serotonin. People who experience vitamin B6 deficiency often have low serotonin levels too. Competing amino acids It sounds like the right thing to advise that proteins should be taken to increase serotonin production. However, diets high in proteins usually lead to low levels of serotonin, chiefly because of the number of amino acids competing for absorption. Therefore, the usual advice is to adopt low protein and high carbohydrate diets. High protein foods flood the body with amino acids that compete to cross the blood brain barrier. This means that the amount of tryptophan crossing into the brain is reduced, and therefore serotonin production is reduced. The amino acids that most compete with tryptophan are those that are structurally similar, especially the branch chain amino acids such as valine, leucine, and isoleucine. On the other hand, foods rich in carbohydrate increase insulin levels, which drives the absorption of most of these amino acids, except tryptophan, into the cells outside the brain, especially muscle cells. Therefore, the concentration of tryptophan in the blood is high enough for a significant amount to cross over into the brain. Non-essential amino acids, such as theanine, found mostly in the leaves of green tea, may also directly reduce serotonin levels in the brain. Theanine can cross the blood-brain barrier and compete against tryptophan. It not only reduces the amount of tryptophan to be used for synthesizing serotonin, but also degrades serotonin and blocks its release from nerve endings. Symptoms of low serotonin levels Because serotonin has a profound effect on the central nervous system and also on the cardiovascular and muscular skeletal systems, low levels of serotonin can cause some very serious effects. The symptoms of low serotonin levels can be classified under two headings, physical and emotional. Physical symptoms of low serotonin levels Chronic persistent fatigue. This happens even though the sufferer is fully rested and is inactive most of the time. Sleep disorders. Although quick to fall asleep, the sufferer has trouble sleeping soundly due to anxiety and even restless leg syndrome. Loss of appetite and craving for carbohydrate. The sufferer may lose interest in eating but also crave carbohydrates as the body tries to restart serotonin production by causing spikes in insulin production. This may lead to weight gain. Hot flushes and fluctuating body temperature. These are caused by the interplay of neurotransmitters trying to compensate for serotonin at serotonin receptors, especially in the hypothalamus. A migraine and headaches. These are caused by metabolic disorders caused by low serotonin levels. Gastrointestinal pain. This is caused by the reduced gastrointestinal movement caused by low secretion of serotonin by enterochromaffin cells in the gut. Emotional symptoms of low serotonin levels. Emotional numbness and social withdrawal. Sufferers lose interest in social engagements and experience dull moods. Depression. This is the classic sign of low serotonin levels and the reason drugs such as SSRIs that increase serotonin levels are used as antidepressants. Increased emotional sensitivity. This can present as low self-confidence, low self-esteem, and low threshold to taking offense. This leads to sudden crying spells and bouts of sadness. Loss of interest in sexual activities and irritability. Obsessive compulsive disorder. For more information, please check out this link.